Welcome to this session with your Abhishek sir. Today's session is for class 4 and the chapter is more about Windows. When we start a computer, the first software that gets loaded is the operating system. Now what is operating system? An operating system is a system software that controls complete functioning of the computer. MS Windows is a user friendly operating system which provides GUI or graphical user interface. It means that we don't have to learn the commands. We just have to click or select the commands which are in the form of icons and menus. Desktop. When we switch on the computer, the first screen we see after the welcome message is the desktop. This desktop contains many icons, programs or file shortcuts. It has the start button. It also has the taskbar. Now let us discuss the parts of the desktop one by one. First we'll look at the icons. What are icons? These icons are small pictures on the desktop screen. Each icon has an image that represents a file or a folder or a program. If you want to open this, you will have to double click it. You will see something is written below this picture, so below this icon. This is called icon name. Wallpaper. Now what is wallpaper? Wallpaper is the background picture on the desktop. Next you have the taskbar. This taskbar is the horizontal bar at the bottom of the desktop. It has different other parts also. Start menu. All programs can be found and open from the start menu. When you click the start menu, it opens a menu. The left side of the menu, you will see the icons of recent programs used by you. To see the list of programs, click all programs. When you click the all program menu, it will show the programs contained in that group along with their icons. How will you change the wallpaper? You know that the wallpaper is the background of the desktop. Now to change the background of the desktop, first you will have to go to the start button. You will click the start button and you will find the control panel is over there. You will select the control panel and the control panel window will appear over there. From the control panel window, you will have to select the appearance and personalization category. And from this personal appearance and personalization category, you will have to click the change in the desktop background option. And from here, you will have to choose the particular picture you want to set up as the wallpaper. After selecting, you will click the save charges option. Screen saver. When our computer is not in use for some time, an animated image will appear on the monitor. This is called screen server. Now we can apply the screen server to our computer system. Steps are as follows. Click the start button. Control panel will be visible. Click the control panel. Control panel windows will appear. From here you will click the appearance and personalization category. From this category, you will have to choose the personalization option. Then you will have to click the skin saver button over there. When you will click it, then you will find that the screen saver 
dialog box will appear under the screen saver dialog box the, from the drop down list you will select the particular screen saver you want to use you can also see the preview of the screen saver you have selected after whole thing is done you will click on the ok button arranging icons we can change the way the icons look or appear on the desktop for this to be done you will have to follow the following steps first you will have to right click on the desktop when you will right click on the desktop you will have to go to the sort by menu and over there you will have four options name size item type and date modified you have to select one of the options your desired options you will select after that the things will be done according to your selection components of a window window consists of the following parts number one title bar number two menu bar number three vertical scroll bar and fourth is the control buttons now we will discuss about them one by one as the picture is given to you according to that so look at the picture in this picture you will find the title bar what is the title bar the title bar is the blue bar at the top of the window okay it displays the title of the program along with the file name next you have the menu bar what is menu bar the menu bar is below the title bar it displays the menu names this menu can be clicked upon to open different options available for working on a program we have the vertical scroll bar you can see it in the picture also this helps to scroll either to the top or the bottom of the screen next you have the control buttons there are three control buttons minimize button maximum maximize button and the close button first we'll look at the minimize button minimize button it is the first button on the top right corner with minus symbol on it it reduces the window to a small icon on the task bar next is the maximum button it helps to either maximize or display the window in its normal size or screen it is the next to the minimize button in with the square box icon or symbol okay it has a square box icon or symbol now the close button it is the last red button with the cross symbol on it at the top right corner you can see it in the picture it helps you to close the window now these are the parts of the window or the components of the windows you can change the size of the windows you can reduce it or you can increase the size now to increase or decrease the size or resize the window first you have to do is that move the mouse pointer to any edge or con corner of the window you will find that the pointer turns into a two headed arrow okay now you hold the left button of the mouse and drag that edge or the corner to the direction you want to resize the window while keeping the mouse button press you will drag it and the window will increase or if you want to decrease you can decrease also you can also move the window to move the window first you have to do is that place the mouse pointer on the title bar of the window then hold down the left button of the mouse and drag the window keeping the mouse button pressed and this way you can move the particular window you can change the date and time of the computer for this what you have to do is that you will 
go to the tux bar and at the right side of the tux bar you will click the clock when you click it a date and time window will appear from this window you will select the change date and time button you can give the inputs for date and time when you once you give all the inputs you will click the ok button accessories now, windows operating system comes along with some useful applications referred to as accessories it contains some of the useful applications such as calculator notepad paint wordpad etc to access any of these applications what you have to do is that you go to the start then you will select the all program option and after that the accessories and from these accessories you can select all these applications calculators windows calculator looks like regular calculator and it has all the major keys and is capable of doing all the major calculations like regular calculators notepad notepad is a basic text editor program we can create edit and print a document file with simple formatting features you can work only on one document at a time in a notepad Paint. Microsoft Paint is a painting program. We can draw pictures on it and we can also get print out of that picture. Wordpad. Wordpad is a basic word processor. It is more advanced than the notepad but it is simpler than the Microsoft Word. You can use the wordpad to create, edit, save or print the text documents and you can also insert images in it with this i end this video please like the video and share it among your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for the question answers related to the chapter please see the description part thank you